day 17, I think, pretty sure. Leaving Mississippi, thank God, because as you can see, rumble strips again here on 26, coming up to the Louisiana border. I'm hoping they don't have them in Louisiana. But uh, not bad, decent start for the day, decent ride. New panniers, I'm about six pounds less, I figure, on the back. Giving up the baskets and the three and a half pounds of other stuff, but then adding on the new bags, I think they're like one and a half pounds or something. No, more than that. Anyway, day 17, beginning. Not sure how far I'm going. Probably gonna stop right across the line in Bogalusa for some lunch. Should be state line up here pretty soon. Oh, that's nice. Big wild hog. Right? White lines blowing through my mind. See, I ride the white line, and it doesn't matter. Mississippi, and now Louisiana, car coming up behind me needs the whole other lane to get by me. <laughs> Cars coming the other direction swing wide, even though they're on the other side of the road to let me pass. It's as if they don't know how to drive. Afraid of coming close, I don't know. They have no depth perception. Anyway, so I'm riding thinking about cars and I just wanted to state now for a future reference my goal is to eliminate 95% of personal automobiles on the road in the entire world I think that'd be a pretty good start for reducing the carbon footprint and uh, easing everybody's uh, economic liability and think of all the lives saved car accidents so we take all those cars scrap them Use the scrap to build uh, giant cone-shaped skyscrapers. Move everybody from the suburbs into the skyscrapers and then burn down the suburbs, further reducing the carbon footprint. Then we turn those into parks or whatever. And then you got you know a couple mega cities. No cars on the road. No suburban pollution. I like that idea. Suburbs have way more of a bigger carbon footprint than cities, so the city's self-contained. Like I said, white lines blowing through my mind. A rang dang dang a dang a dang. A rang dang dang a dang a dang. Gonna get you high until the drill is gone. I think. It's been so long since I heard that song, I don't remember the lyrics. Woo! Gotta get you high till the thrill is gone. Yeah, Louisiana, white lines. All right, end of uh, day whatever I said it was earlier in this video. 17. Uh, this is Franklinton, uh, Louisiana, and this campground doesn't appear to be uh, very active right now. But I called the uh, owner and he told me just come on in and tent anywhere to the right of the building, which I'm assuming that's the only building. Um, so I will tent to the right of that, I guess. I don't know if he means right there next to it or any spot, because I figure if I take a spot, I can move if I have to, but there's a million of them. There's nobody here in this whole park. It's actually pretty amazing. I got the whole thing to myself. The fairgrounds are right over there. Uh, this place is really easy to find. There's a Win Dixie on the way into town. And I made the mistake of checking my bank account balance. <laughs> yeah, let's just say I hope this night's free and everyone after it for the next uh, 10 days. Then maybe I can make it through this month. <laughs> but uh, anyway, end of. Day 17, I'll say, even though I'm not sure. I'll have to watch the beginning of this. Franklinton, Louisiana, new state, and uh, hopefully be hitting Texas pretty soon. Looking forward to seeing uh, Houston and Austin and uh, big country. Free camping, I hope, because yeah, we've spent too much money. Anyway, whatever.
End of the day. Southern tier. Just me, Franklinton. Alone at night. <laughs>